What happens when our greatest heroes turn against each other? Injustice Gods Among Us explores this possibility. The new video game experience comes from NetherRealm Studios, who brought us the Mortal Kombat franchise. It's a trap. Of course it is. You're one of them. Metropolis will be history. However, this isn't just Mortal Kombat with DC comic book heroes, but it's its own unique, jaw-dropping experience. The plot describes what happens when Superman is pushed too far and alternate universes collide. You drugged me! Made me... Lois, my son. First Krypton, now Metropolis. People you love tend to blow up, don't they? Uh, Superman, don't! Uh! While a key feature for fighting games is its multiplayer mode, this game surprises audience with a deep, immersive story mode. It's going too far. Man's world is incapable of self rule. We will preserve order. Hands up, that freak! I'm in a nightmare. I'm here on location with Olivia Hoddle avid video game player, comic book enthusiast, and we're going to settle an age-old question of which DC comic book heroes would win in a fight against each other. I think Batman would just beat everyone. Me too. Alright, we feel the same about this. Let's get playing. I think I'm going to try Aquaman. I'm going to be Batman because I'm always Batman. Fantastic. Begin. Oh, yeah. Ew. <laughs> Take that, fucker! Oh. Ow. Woo! <laughs> wow, you just trounced me. Whoa. I'm good at trouncing. Got Samuel L. Jackson. While the game does have a few downfalls, overall the game does a great job of catering to casual as well as hardened fighting gamers, as well as does a lot of fan service to give comic book fans something to cheer about. This game does a great job of bringing the DC comic book heroes into the third dimension and truly does justice to the fans by making their favorite heroes truly super. Stay down. For UNITV, I'm Kyle Hogan.